All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reconcile the PayPal account. I'm at the PayPal register. I'm really not gonna go enter all of my records going back for the, the years and years I've had this account. So you are gonna see a little bit of movie magic um, when I get this started, but I still, like, I want to show you how this works. So let me log into my PayPal real quick because I want you to see this. So this is my PayPal account. What I need to do is I need to get my bank statement or my, my statement from PayPal so that I can reconcile my account. If I go to activity and I go to all reports, on the left hand side I have a variety of things. I'm going to go to statements, I'm going to go to monthly, September, I'm going to download my PDF. That appears on the bottom. So my beginning balance is zero dollars, my ending balance is zero dollars. This is great. All right, so I've entered the September things that I shortcutted and didn't enter earlier. Um, now we'll go to reconcile. You will notice that there's a bunch of stuff that I had not entered before. That's totally fine. Um, I'm not trying to show you how I'm gonna do all of my bookkeeping. I just really wanna show you how to reconcile your PayPal account but I wanted to give you a big picture of everything that goes into it. All right, so I am looking at my uh, QuickBooks and I'm looking at my bank statement and I'm, I'm just gonna scoot this so you can kind of see both of them. It doesn't, the difference doesn't go to zero. And so I'm gonna uncheck everything and I'm just gonna go one step at a time. The first thing that I see is that I had a refund from a purchase I made which means that I increased the balance in my PayPal account, a deposit in the PayPal. When I look over here, I don't see a deposit of $61. So I'm just gonna mentally set that aside for a second. The next thing I see is I have a withdrawal of $61, so I mark that. I have a withdrawal of $10, so I mark that. I have a deposit of $10, so I mark that. I'm still left with the fact that I have a deposit of 6176 and it does not show up in QuickBooks. So let's come over here. Let's go back to banking. Let's look at the PayPal account. I've got it sorted in date order. And, you know, in a perfect world, I would be going from January forward. But again, we're just, I just want to show you this without having to show you everything. So I'm, I'm looking at this and I do not see, um, I don't see this deposit. If I go to excluded, I don't see the deposit there either. This is a really great example of something that happens in real life. It is absolutely positively a normal, albeit frustrating, a normal thing for a PayPal transaction to not appear. If that happens for you, that's no big deal. You just go add it. So in this case, I know that I need to add a deposit. I'm gonna show you again why I know that it's a deposit. When I look at this, I can see the description says refund and that it's a positive 6176. So therefore I know it's a deposit into my PayPal account. To make my deposit, I'm gonna click on plus new. I'm gonna to go to bank deposit, choose the account. It's my PayPal account, choose the date. The date on it is September 7th, 22. The receive from is PBX phone. Uh, we'll call it utilities. The reason for the deposit is I had a refund. I had a refund from utilities, which is why I'm choosing utilities here. I, I typically wouldn't choose an expense for my deposit, but it's a refund of a purchase I previously made. So 6176 in the lower right hand corner, I'll change it to save and close. And then I'll go back to my bank register, go back to reconcile. I'll be able to select it as it appears on my statement and I can select finish now. What I really want you to know is that sometimes things don't download that should. It happens, it's life, it's no big deal. If something doesn't download that should have, please enter it by hand. 
if you're looking at this list and you see things on here that do not appear on your bank statement, right? Here's your bank statement. Then don't add them. Don't mark them off. Take a look at them and make a decision. Did this download an error? Should I delete it? Have I double entered it? You've already seen me accidentally double enter something. Life happens. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through, long story long, how to add and reconcile data to your PayPal account. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, if you need any help, my team and I are available to you. We offer both bookkeeping and training services, and we can be found at gentlefrog.com. Thank you.